Today we're starting off with a little joke. Here's a scientist looking at some bacteria and he says, the anaerobic ones are just sitting there, but the aerobic bacteria are doing jumping jacks, sit-ups, leg lifts, etc. So the joke there is referring, of course, to exercise, anaerobic exercise, which gets sort of the oxygen really flowing through your body. And that's because aerobic decomposition is when oxygen is being used by bacteria to decompose something. So today we're trying to distinguish between aerobic and anaerobic decomposition of organic material in water. So aerobic decomposition, we can call that oxidation. In other words, it's reacting with oxygen, and that results in an increase in the oxidation numbers of carbon, nitrogen, or sulfur, depending what the incoming organic material was made of. And that's covered more in Chapter 9. Nitrogen compounds will be converted into nitrates, and sulfur compounds will be converted into sulfates, and phosphorus compounds will be converted into phosphates. To contrast that with anaerobic decomposition, anaerobic means that there's no oxygen needed by the bacteria to break down the organic material. So we get what we call the opposite of the oxidation, which is reduction, and that gives us a decrease in oxidation numbers of carbon, nitrogen, or sulfur, again, depending on what organic material you are breaking down. And that'll be covered in Chapter 9 a bit more. This happens a lot in sort of marshlands, which is sort of like standing water. Just to do a quick little visualization of marshlands. This type of water, these types of areas, that's where you get a lot of anaerobic decomposition. And so in these cases, the bacteria will convert nitrogen compounds into ammonia, sulfur compounds into hydrogen sulfide. And you should link this back to our look at air pollutants. This is a natural source of air pollutants, where the hydrogen sulfide from either this process or volcanoes reacts with oxygen to produce our sulfur dioxide. And that, again, can produce sulfur trioxide with, when it reacts with more oxygen. Carbon can be converted into methane. And if you remember, that's a greenhouse gas, so you can connect that back there. And phosphorus is converted into phosphine. So try to make sure that you connect aerobic with oxygen, anaerobic with no oxygen, and make sure that you understand what's sort of produced in each type.